What's up, people? Today we got a bunch of toolbox widget. If you've watched any of my videos before and you've caught me opening and closing my drawers on my box, you'll probably notice that I've spent a small fortune on toolbox widget organizers. Um, it started with the wrench organizers. I tried a large quantity of them. I think I had to organize 177, I believe was the number, um, wrenches. So I reached out to Toolbox Widget and I, I got information about their, um, their bulk buy discount. Um, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on what I was hoping turned out to be a better organizing system than the one that I currently had. And I was pleasantly surprised and it kind of snowballed from there. They came out with the, the, uh, what was it? The player organizers They came out with the, with the screwdriver organizers. And I think I might even have, yep, player organizers, screwdriver organizers. Yeah, I keep a, I keep a small stock because you never know when you're gonna want to organize something. We've got predominantly socket organizers. Um, I reached out to Toolbox Widget yet again, and their customer service is always spot on. Um, you can even reach out, I've reached out through Instagram, and they've helped me with a ton of things. These are all socket organizers, and yet again, I've got a ton of sockets that are on rails and not in the peg organizers. Um, in my socket drawer. And I, I don't want that many rails and I think I could tidy up what I've got going on in my socket drawer a lot if I found a different solution. So I reached out to him and I was like, look it, I'm about to buy, you know, $600 in kits. I'm not sold that this is any better than what I'm currently doing. So they did me a solid, and obviously I've got a, a working relationship with them in the past. Um, so basically, I bought some, and they threw some in, and uh, that was that was pretty cool. I guess I guess you'd call that I'm sponsored, uh, part a partial sponsorship of sorts. But while I was doing it, I got a couple other of the vertical wrench holders and the large angle wrench holders just because I don't have any in stock. And so some of the, the differences you'll see in the different organizers that they offer, you've got... You've got a screwdriver organizer, you've got a plier organizer, you've got, let me just open this right here, you've got a vertical wrench organizer, and then you've got an angled wrench organizer for your larger wrenches. <clears throat> so that actually they, they all sit like that and then uh, <clears throat> you'll see the cutouts in them are very different and I'm going to bring the camera down here real quick um, so what you'll see is you've got the screwdriver organizer which has a very um 
wide open until about halfway and then it turns into a, a very sharp V. So that's meant so the shaft of the screwdriver, I believe, sits nestled right inside uh, as low as it can possibly go, but it also keeps it from rolling side to side. You've got the plier organizer, which is a much more U shape. So this will accommodate, you know, the, the larger, thicker handles of a set of pliers. Whereas if you put a screwdriver in this, it would kind of just roll around and it would really wouldn't retain it like you wanted it to. Um, <clears throat> then you've got the, the vertical wrench organizer, which is a straight V all the way through. This is basically just to accommodate different wrench thicknesses. If you actually go back and watch my comparison between my right tools wrenches, the snap on wrenches, um, craftsman and gear wrench, you'll actually see the thickness difference in the handles of some of these wrenches where you kind of need some lead way for all of them to fit in the same type of organizer. And then you've got the angled wrench holder, which this is meant for your larger wrenches. Like, uh, I don't know what the specification that toolbox widget states. I've had to put pretty much anything over a one inch wrench in my current, my new box into the angled wrench holders because <clears throat> the drawer that I'm putting my wrenches in is so thin it's it's not as deep as my old toolbox was so I can only get up to about an inch wrench size in a vertical holder before they hit the before they hit the drawer above it so with that being said, there's plenty of other uses that I've been able to squeeze tools into these different organizers. Um, <clears throat> you can run some screwdrivers in wrench holders. Uh, I've got some Easy Red um, bit driver ratchets, I guess you would call them, but they have a, a wrench handle on them basically so they're uh they're a very thin and wide handle compared to like a ratchet would be more of a round handle but it's a ratcheting wrench essentially that takes a bit uh you know quarter inch bit drive on the end of it um they fit perfect in these uh i put extensions and plenty of other things in the uh, screwdriver holders because it actually holds them up towards the top of it and and they don't roll around and it fits them very snugly I use some of the plier organizers for ratchets because a ratchet has a very you know a lot of ratchets have a very thick round shaft to them Whereas it fits perfect in those. So there's tons of uses for these things that they don't necessarily, necessarily claim them to be used for. <clears throat> and uh, that's why I love them. They're so, you can do so much with them. So that being said, back to the sockets. I'm going to do like a time lapse or something, and uh, I'm going to see if we can straighten out my socket drawer a little bit more with a bunch of these toolbox widget socket holders. So let's see how this turns out.
So I just got all the toolbox widgets that I ordered into the top drawer. I have noticed this thing's real sticky towards the back of the slide. So I gotta try and work a work it out so it actually comes all the way out because it does it does come flush with the face of the toolbox but it takes a little bit to get it there right now. So this is I had a ton of rails. I had also also tools socket rails in here. Um, you can see all of them right there. Wanted to do away with the rails because, you know, I wasn't using all of the space on every of the rails, um, but they kind of just like overlapped each other. And uh, in this drawer, it worked worse than it did in my 5S toolbox. Um, so I figured I would give toolbox widgets socket holders a try. And so far, so good. You got the, uh, the missing tool indicator. So every one of them is orange as far as the, the peg that the socket goes on. Um, you'll see back here I've got some of my specialty sockets and stuff like that. Um, axle nut sockets, they're all on there. So I was hesitant to stick the big sockets on them. Um, you do have to use a lot of spacers. I don't know if you can see down there, there's three spacers between each to get them out far enough, but they seem to be working okay. Um, I moved all of my hex bits out of the blow molded cases into this drawer as well. Um, same thing with, I had a, uh, a Mac Torx bit set. So I got a, uh, Regular Torx, tamper-proof Torx, the Mac external Torx here. Um, these are half-inch drive chrome six points, uh, snap-on set and Craftsman set. I have chrome 12-point up here already, six-point impact sockets. So <clears throat> these are in here for the time being, but... If, uh, if I were to get rid of something in here to make room for some other stuff, like let's say some grip edge, maybe, I'll probably be reconfiguring these to fit that stuff in. Um, I kind of tucked my least used set up against the front here. Um, these are the, it's really hard to see them down there, but those are the, uh, indicators for, uh, size. I did notice my kit, which I don't know if they all are like that, but my kit didn't come with a few of the, uh, sizes like, I think this one here, 21. I thought a 21 would be pretty, pretty common. So I got to I got to ask them and see what the deal with that is. Um, but I used toolbox widget screwdriver holders. And these, when the shank of the hex bit got bigger, um, they sat up a little bit more in these. So I ended up using um, a couple player holders from toolbox widget for the larger shank ones. Uh, I ordered more of the screwdriver holders because I ran out to do the other end of these. Um, obviously, they sit there just fine in one, but that right there is my OCD. And, you know, when all those tip over because I slammed my drawer or something like that, then my OCD will go crazy. So ordered those. Um, I've got the Mako 3 h drive metric uh, universal impact sockets. This is 
in anticipation that I am going to buy the seven piece standard. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had room for it now before I went crazy in here and then had to reorganize everything just to put them in there. I know I want to get them, uh, probably in the next month or so I'll order a set of those. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with the Macos to match the, to match the metric, or if I'm going to try the snap on or maybe another brand. I don't even know. Uh, somebody, if you, uh, if you have preferences on impact universals, hit me with them. Cause I like the Mako ones. I like that they are, uh, a small outside diameter. Um, I believe the snap on ones are very similar to that. At least the, you know, not the blue point, but the snap on ones. Um, so I might go that route, but I've been trying to play around with some brands. Uh, I've got some Koken quarter inch drive, 12 point in here now. Uh, didn't have that before. That's new. So overall, um, I wish I took a picture of, or I wish I took video of this setup before, but I did put up a couple pictures that I took in the beginning of the video. Um, so you can kind of see how it was before, but yeah, this is a, you know, I've got everything in here, everything on them. And, uh, I'm not going to get rid of the peg holders because honestly, well, I like the black and green, but I've never had people, people don't like them cause they break the, the pins off or the tabs. Um, I've never broken one before. I've had these Hanson style trays for 15 years. Um, so if I start breaking them eventually, maybe I'll start looking at something different. Um, there is a lot of waste in some of these, but honestly, I've got most of them pretty full. So I'm not going to pick up, pick up two, three inches here and there by getting rid of them and doing something else. So until I absolutely need more real estate in this drawer, <clears throat> um, I, I'm probably going to be keeping the, you know, the Hanson style trays there. Um, but that just shows you a little bit what you can do with the toolbox widget stuff. Um, this drawer, all toolbox widget, you know, extensions, ratchets. Uh, this here, my boy, Charlie got me a, uh, got me a new comfort grip handle for this old, uh, this old workhorse. This is like a 936, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a 930, 936A. It's old, old 36 tooth, but br breathe some new life into it. Uh, <laughs> I saw, first of all, I saw purple ratchets come out and I was like, well, I don't know, green and purple, green and purple is pretty cool. Um, and then of course I saw, I saw my, saw my buddy, Chris, Texas tool guy posted, uh, this ignorantly long quarter inch ratchet. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want one of those too. Um, my Mako guy said that they, a lot of, a lot of people, they put a, uh, they put a three ace head kit in this thing. It's like a 14 inch long quarter inch ratchet. Um, but that, you know, the width of that head is that's tiny. So three ace in that thing would be pretty cool. I haven't quite figured out if I'm going to do that yet, but, um, who knows? Maybe I'll buy another one. Do that too. You know, it's only money, but yeah, so that's, uh, these are all screwdriver holders, um, plier holders. So different spacers from different kits. Those are, I think, screwdriver, the screwdriver kit spacers. Um, <clears throat> but you can do tons of stuff with the toolbox widgets, you know, that's, uh, this is just one of the wrench drawers that I've got. So 
you know there's uh the options are endless and honestly i've started i've started moving all of my organization pretty much to toolbox widgets um like i like i said there's a couple things that i like how they are so i'm not going to change them um but as far as as far as the versatility of uh the toolbox widgets you know you can pretty much you can pretty much organize almost anything uh screwdrivers those are all the screwdriver holders uh, <clears throat> another wrench drawer yeah we've got everything we've got weird stuff like those uh gear wrench um they obviously couldn't all fit in this drawer nice and you know together but you've got oddball things like those cross force wrenches um you've got the half moons you've got big stuff inch and seven eighths an inch and a half you know the uh the options are pretty pretty endless uh some ernst i believe we call uh yeah ernst some some trays that i got those are pretty cool i'll show you more on those soon some picks you know those are all in toolbox widgets those are actually the wrench holders <clears throat> because the vertical wrench holders because the the shanks on on your picks are so small they're really not any wider than a wrench handle or you know the beam on a wrench so that works out really well and yeah so that's that hopefully you guys uh maybe got some ideas on what you can do with toolbox widgets um you know not just wrenches they've got a lot of other stuff and and if you're if you're crafty with it you know you can use uh you're gonna use a lot of the stuff that they have for things that they uh don't necessarily intend them for so all right guys hope that shows you a little bit on how to uh utilize some toolbox widgets that's the new setup um like i said in a couple other videos there's a few things that i'm not thrilled with on it and uh Hopefully in the near future, I will do a run through of all the drawers in this thing and show you how it's laid out. So until then, I'll catch you guys later.